Hi guys, welcome back to your own channel Technical Sahil. Today's video is the fifth one in this playlist and in the previous video we have successfully installed and activated WHM license. We have also created one cPanel for ourselves plus we have seen how and our customers will apply SSL certificates on their domains, subdomains, add-on domains from cPanel. The cPanel WHM license we are using has no limitation on creating accounts, users or generating SSL certificates. And as I promised to keep my words in the entire course, in this video we are gonna install WHM CS which also offers managing unlimited clients means there is no limit on adding active clients or non-active clients. Whether your clients are active or non-active it would be unlimited. But before that we need to do one important step and for which we need to log in to our WHM. And from here we need to click this customize name servers. First let me copy this domain name. And we need to remove this uh, after ns1 dot remove everything and paste the domain name and do the same for ns2 and click save changes uh, wait one thing we also need to check on that page go to this basic config and make sure the IP here is same as your server IP here. If you see any different IP like any non-valid or any common IP like google 8.8.8.8 then you need to replace that IP with your actual server IPv4. Let me clear one thing here. There is no need to do this step technically means it won't create us any error or problem in the future if we doesn't change the name server. But if you go with the default name server, so other settings, your customer will know that you are using someone else platform. You are not the aggregator, you are not the main provider. So after a bit of research, the customers will also find the main domain provider through this name server source. And then why they pay you extra margin amount, they will definitely gonna purchase from that provider directly. So to prevent from these things, we regularly need to hide the things which may can expose our business course in the future okay so now we have set our private name servers now let's get the whmcs and we need to get from the same website from which we have taken the whmc panel license so inside the store find one time licenses You can see they offer the one-time licenses uh, of cPanel, Plesk, Lightspeed, Cloud Linux and many other providers. You will find here the list. One time means you only need to pay at once and it won't ask you to renew in the future. Anyways, we have found this WHMCS which cost us uh, $49 a month. Uh, it's the amount excluding value added tax in which unlimited clients brand registration completely white label etc api access mobile app we will see all the things uh, later when we install but for now click this order now here we need to uh, enter the domain let me copy this domain and paste it here and remove this 2087 uh, it cost us almost 58 dollars uh, one time it's a one time cost which does not have to pay any amount after purchasing that on this amount anyways click here to continue click checkout Now you need to fill up the details if you are creating the account for the first time but if you have followed my last video I am sure you have an account on this uh, platform link system. 
because we have installed the cPanel license from this platform and that time I have created my account so I am using the same account which is hello at the rate technical sahil dot com and click login I have already logged in and I also have some credit balance I am not applying this uh, credit balance I am simply going with the full payment and I have read and agreed the terms of service you can read if you want before agreeing to it after that complete order Now guys, please allow me some time uh, to make the payment. Okay, so guys, we have made the payment. Now I simply need to do is uh, go to my services. Find this service uh, which we have recently purchased WHMCS. Go to this download section and click this download button start download now it will take some time to download the file till then we have to wait now the file has been downloaded uh, in my desktop as you can see that's the file so i need to unzip this file The file has been extracted now if we open the folder we got the two, two uh, one file and one folder now we need to uh, zip this folder upload.zip and now we need to log into our cPanel that's the same cPanel we have created in the previous video we need to log in right now if we see the url it's blank yes it is now we need to go to the file manager first it's a recommended setting to uh, show all the hidden files because if htxs is overridden it would create a chaos in the future now inside the public underscore html we need to uh, click this upload icon select the file desktop whmcs and upload this upload file The file has been uploaded now we simply need to close this window and if we refresh you can see uh, we have a file upload.zip now we need to unzip here by clicking the right click and click extract and extract files
now we can delete this file to clean some space and inside the upload folder we need to click this select all and click move and we need to go a directory behind and move files now we can also upload this uh, empty folder and now we need to go uh, inside this mysql databases and we can define any name here uh, after this underscore like i am writing whmcs you can define any name here this is a constant here you can write anything and create database now let me copy this name because we need it uh, after two minutes now here also we can uh, write the same name we can even uh, give a different name here but i am going with the same name now here we can use this generator password generator and i have copied this password in a safer place and use password and let me copy this password as well because we need these credentials and create user after that we need to click this add add button here check all all privileges and click make changes now if we refresh you can see we get one error which is site error the ion cube php loader needs to be installed this needs to be installed whether you install any whmcs any version it does not matter either you are using new version or old version or any whmts ion cube uh, which is a php extension need to be installed on your server and for this we simply need to go uh, to our whm and search here easy apache 4 Now here we need to click this customize from here we first need to uh, select this php version step and we need to enable this php 7.4 and click yes php 4 7.4 extensions I am disabling this but you can also enable this uh, no problem but I want only one PHP version here PHP 7.4 and click next and here we need to search ion cube and install this uh, PHP ion cube 10 and click next now we need to click next till this wizard ends again next and now we need to click this provision
and now we need to click done here now if we refresh this window you can see the error is gone and now we need to click here to begin you can read if you want otherwise click agree click this begin installation and here uh, don't change it keep it localhost and 3306 now here for license key first let me copy uh, these credentials which we have created database credentials database name is also same now let me copy the password now license key please find this uh, txt file here open this file and copy the license key from here paste it here and click continue now here you need to create some credentials like first name is super admin email let's say support at the rate we have not created this email but we will create later or let's say admin not support username is username is fine admin now let me create a password and we need to type the same password here and click this complete setup now we need to first uh, delete this install directory from here it's for the security reason so that someone can't redirect to install and override our installations confirm now we need to uh, create one cron job here which has to execute after every five minutes so let's go back to the cpanel and search cron and open this cron job tab now here we need to select uh, once per five minutes as uh, written here every five minutes and we need to paste the command which we have copied from here and click add new cron job now click go to the admin area now it has already taken my username and password uh, because i update this at here now let me click uh, login now we have successfully logged in uh, to our whmcs admin panel so that's all for this video and in the next video we will set up this uh, our whmcs there are some important settings which we require to do plus there are some important settings also which i want you to know about it what is this and what's that we will see in the next video but for now thanks for watching this video i'll meet you in the next one till then Goodbye and please take care of yourselves.